The Latin American Photo Festival by the Bronx Documentary Center has returned for its fifth year. This festival is the only one dedicated to Latin American photography in the city and is free and open to all. There's a high population of Latinos here, so it's very important for us when people walk up the streets and they can see the banners, they can connect it with uh, these kind of projects. The festival features large, compelling images captured by emerging and established award-winning photographers. The images are displayed both indoors and outdoors, sprawled across Melrose in the South Bronx, including at a community garden and at Immaculate Conception Church. With the community as a backdrop, the artists invite us to explore stories about family, memory, culture, and other social issues. This work is uh, titled um, uh, Danzante de la Historia in Spanish. Uh, maybe in English could be uh, History Dancers. And it's a tradition with about 300 years in El Salvador. I photographed 34 historic baseball figures of the Dominican Republic. From the first one who came to the United States, uh, Mr. Osvaldo Virgil, until the still active players like Albert Pujols. So there's this new generation that is an inspiration for the young kids in Dominican Republic. Skandip is a photographic interactive experience that explores 15 stories of the queer community in Quito. The interactive park basically is two images, one on top of the other, and you have to move your fingers up and down in order to discover the story. So it's very crucial that you do that because the two images depend on one another. The Latin American Photo Festival also features nostalgic photographs from Nueva Yorkinos, a beloved digital archive documenting and preserving family photos and stories submitted by Latino and Caribbean New Yorkers throughout the boroughs. My mom made this along with her bare hands, uh, through a susu, through, you know, saving uh, American dream, you know. I like to think that we're hitting a, a cuss in, a, in America, in New York, where a lot of people are getting displaced. And what makes New York so, so beautiful is the different cultures, the different you know, entities, the different, the different love, the different food that you find here. And this, uh, this is just an amazing way to encapsulate that. The picture behind me is my kindergarten graduation with both of my parents who have supported me throughout all my life. And um, definitely giving this as an honor and a preservation and kind of just shouting out our culture via Nuevo Rioquinos and just kind of creating that sense of community. I support Nueva Yorkinos and the Bronx Documentary Center uh, because I believe that you have to preserve this history. You have to preserve these stories of, of a lot of the pioneers that came uh, to the Bronx and pretty much um, were here when everybody else was giving up on the South Bronx. The fifth annual Latin American Photo Festival will be on view in Melrose until July 31st. Visit bronxdoc.org for a map of exhibition locations and more. Reporting for BronxNet, Sonji Lopez.